Howdy there once again, YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell, and go view my most recent videos. Go to my channel, click videos, and view my videos. My name is Ben Ferriol, and I am back to tell you about my new website. I have finally published it, and it is now online. Please go to monitorsize.weebly.com. Monitor, S-E-I-S, dot Weebly, dot com. I will get my own domain, uh, domain name eventually down the road if the website succeeds. Now there are multiple different things that you can read about on this website. My two blogs, Seismic Blog and Seismic Events, do not have much content yet, but the rest of the website is basically finished. Also, if anyone requires seismic data or images of seismograms that you cannot find, please feel free to email me at any time. So here's the homepage describing what the website is about. A site map showing what all the buttons are about. Let's go to Seismo blog real quick. This will be my blog. This is where I'm going to talk about things that I'm interested in, you know, just what's going on in my life, you know, and other seismic events around the world and things that I'm currently researching and interested in. Now, seismic events blog, These, this is about specific large seismic events I'm interested about. For example, the December to January 2008-2009 Yellowstone Lake intrusion events. I'm going to talk about that. This is all that's done right now on this blog. I still got to uh, do this, but the rest of the website's pretty much finished, and I'll add more events to this, such as the uh, June 2017 earthquake swarm at Yellowstone, or any swarms at Mount Rainier, or any specific large events that I'm very interested in, like the Japan mega quake. You know, so, so seismic events is going to be a little different than Seismo blog. So if you kind of catch the drift. Seismic software, drop down menu, go to Jama Size, has the download link and what you have to do to download it. Seismic software, go to Swarm. Has the download link for Swarm Seismic software and what you have to do to download it. And Waves and the seismic program called Waves. The download link and what you have to do to download it. Then there's a how to drop down menu and you'll see how to read seismograms, how to use drama size, how to use Swarm, use Waves, download data and understand UTC. Read seismograms. I suggest that people who are not used to reading the online web recorders, the online seismograms that uh, University of Utah and many others use, please read this. It's pretty large. We got multiple different things I talk about in here. All right, and then how to use JAMA size. This was my recent uh, video I actually uploaded before this video that I'm uploading right now about how to use JAMA size, just the basics. You know, there's still some things about these programs I still don't know. You know, I'm still a beginner in seismology. So cut me a little bit of a break, please. Then you can find the parts down here to the JAMA size how to video and a few links. Let's go to how to use swarm. This is a walkthrough of how to use the swarm seismic software and the things that I use. Some things about this program, again, I still do not know how to use, but most of it I pretty much do. How to use Waves. Opening this will open up a new link and go to the Waves user manual. Since I use Waves less than I do Jama Size and Swarm, and there's still a lot of things about Waves I do not understand, so I suggest that you look at Waves. And this user manual actually helps you identify earthquake locations. He talks about channel information, arrivals, PNS wave arrivals, how to tell the difference, bunch of different things that I still have not learned myself. Let's go back. Uh, how to download data. This shows you how to download data. Just a simple walkthrough. How to download data from the Iris DMC Time Series URL Builder. And it shows the importance of knowing network station location and channel codes. And you can see down here is how you download the data. Now again, if anybody wants seismic data, or they simply want an image of a web recorder that they can't find online, like let's say you want an image of some seismograms from Michigan or northern New York. Usually you can't find those online, at least I haven't been able to. Or if you want actual seismic data in .sac format or mini seed format, you can go ahead and email me if you don't want to go through all this. It's a, this is actually pretty easy to get used to, downloading data. But if you really don't want to go through it, I suggest you should, but if you don't, you could just email me with the specific location, like the area, what, West Yellowstone, Seattle, Detroit, Michigan, just email me the location and the specific time period. And please tell me what time zone you're using for the time period, please. All right, let's go back to how to understand UTC. 
Now, I tried to give a basic rundown on how to understand uh, universal time code. So if there's anything I should add to this, please let me know. Let's go to the More drop-down menu, Network Coverage Help. All right, this is a guide to the networks and the areas they cover. It shows the location first, for example, Montana, and then it shows all the available seismic networks that cover the state of Montana. And if you ever see an asterisk near one of them, the asterisk is not actually part of the network code. It's just a symbol for myself to see that there's only one seismic station for that one specific location. Now let's go to the drop down menu for more. Go to earthquake type examples. I have a few on here that are from me, but there are a few images that are from online, and I do leave the link to the source for that. This shows multiple earthquake types and their examples and their respective frequencies. Now remember, this is just the beginning, guys. I'm still probably going to be adding to this website throughout the years, and I'll still be using this website even when I do go to school for seismology. So I can update you guys with Seismo blog and seismic events. Let's go to more. Earthquake statistics. Here's another drop-down menu to the side. Earthquake statistics, you cannot click, but you can click these. We have earthquake statistics for Yellowstone, Long Valley, Newberry, Mount Rainier, and the Cascadia Subduction Zone. If you have any suggestions for new earthquake statistic areas, please feel free to email me. Let's go to Yellowstone Caldera real quick. And there's the coordinate box I used. All the earthquake statistics from January 1st to January 1st for each year. All right. And I have a chart down here down below. Let's go to Long Valley Caldera. Do the same thing here. I have a chart down below showing all the earthquakes since 2000. And the one of the main uplift charts, not uplift charts, sorry, one of the main GPS deformation charts for Long Valley, CA99. Let's go to more. Click statistics. Newberry Caldera, which is in Oregon. Actually, a really cool volcano. I really like Newberry. And there's the chart for that. And here's Mount Rainier real quick, which I see almost every other day. And there's the earthquake counts as early 2000. And let's see, the last one is the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Here's the coordinate box I have for here. And here is the chart. Let's go back to more. Let's go to links. Links and resources is pretty much what it says it is. It is just a page with all the sources and resources that I have and use. All right, let's go to more about me. This picture was taken with uh, one of our smartphones, so it's not as good. I'll try to get a better picture soon of our whole family, but that's Claire, my daughter. That's me. That's my soon-to-be wife, and that is my son, Elijah. And about me is literally about me. And let's go to contact. There it is, my email, WashingtonMagma at Yahoo.com, and information for if you'd like to gain any seismic data or any seismic images from me. Now, I will be using the Seismo blog and the Seismic Events blog a lot more than uploading videos. So if you want more updates than I usually put on YouTube, please go to my website and check it out. I'm pretty sure on the blog you can comment, too, kind of like on YouTube. And if there's anything missing from my website or anything's incorrect or out of place, please do not hesitate to let me know. I love constructive criticism. You want to know why? Because I want to learn. I want to learn and advance and grow. How do you advance and grow? Through personal trial and error and personal experience. You have to think that you're going to be wrong eventually for you to learn. Because if you think you know everything, you're really not going to learn very well, are you? See, I used to have it in my head that I almost knew everything about seismology, but you need to spend a few days researching this stuff. You can't just all of a sudden pick something up and say, oh, I understand everything about that. No, you got to learn. That's why people go to school for these things. That's why I'm going to school for seismology. I'm very interested in it, and it is something I am going to make a career out of. And I will update you guys on my career progress through the Seismo blog. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this website. There are multiple different things you can do on this website. Please let me know if there's anything I can add at all. And I will be getting my own domain name eventually. So just let me know. I thank you for your time and go visit my website. Again, it is monitorseis.weebly.com. Again, monitorsize.weebly.com. Thank you for your time, guys, and God bless. And remember, the truth is hate or fear. 
to those who hate or fear the truth.